Welcome to The Dark Art of Light by Nolte, a virtual masterclass series covering the fundamental principles of residential lighting design. Through this series, we'll explore the art of illuminating different rooms within a home. Each tutorial will break down the creative process, revealing the layers and hierarchy of lighting that are intrinsic to a beautiful scheme. We begin this series with the kitchen. In this multifunctional room, lighting allows us to transform the space from task-oriented and focused to social, convivial and relaxing, from a busy food prep area to a haven of a home office at the touch of a button. Let's break down the various layers of kitchen lighting. Task, localised help for lighting for reading a recipe. Accent, lighting that illuminates key features or zones such as dining areas. Ambient, lighting that brings balance and harmony to the kitchen. Feature, lighting that gives the space personality, such as a focal point above an island unit. Let's break this down even further. Task lighting specifically targets the main working areas of the kitchen, such as the food prep counter or the dining table. We recommend using a homogeneous diffuse light source to the underside of cupboard joinery. Be aware of obstructions to the light and unshielded light sources, as these can create unsightly dots or lines on the reflective backsplash. It is important to light any tables where food prep, cooking or dining is likely to occur. Flush recess down lights create a streamlined, modern look. Surface-mounted directional spotlights are a smart option when ceiling recess depth is an issue. Only add light where necessary to avoid unsightly grids of light in the ceiling. Scallops are great in the kitchen, but not when they're created by incorrectly offset lighting. Remember to add task lighting in front of you, otherwise you will create harsh shadowing onto countertops. A decorative pendant can be a handy way of achieving functional task lighting above counters and tables, in addition to adding an injection of mood and style to the kitchen. Now let's move on to accent lighting that guides the eye and creates points of interest around the kitchen. Illuminating paintings or sculptures can be achieved via downlighting from the ceiling. Careful consideration of offsets is recommended for the best light quality. Localised lights such as a picture light can also be used. Decorative wall lights can be a nice touch to add rhythm and focus to otherwise bare walls. Let's turn our attention now to ambient lighting that improves the sense of warmth and depth in a room, ensuring that the kitchen feels welcoming and comforting. We recommend providing comfortable levels of illumination while avoiding glare or harsh direct light sources. A clever way of adding diffused light to a space without having to build any details within the ceiling is via indirect uplighting from decorative pendants. It is also a handy way to make a space feel larger and more open. A common technique when introducing ambient light into the kitchen is the use of coffers and coves because they create an indirect perimeter of light that washes the room. One thing to remember is to allow sufficient spacing to ensure that the light creates a soft glow, otherwise you'll be stuck with a harsh band of light and won't gain much useful light from that detail. Uplighting from existing joinery can be an effective way to add ambient lighting to the soffit. Remember again to allow for enough space in the detail for the light to soften across the ceiling. Diffuse decorative light sources allow for flexibility and a personalised touch to the kitchen. Small table lights can be an effective technique when evoking a mood or adding a touch of elegance to your kitchen table. Last but not least, feature lighting. An opportunity to make a statement and give the space personality, it can also add to overall light levels. Feature lighting can refer to the fitting itself, which makes a statement whether on or off, or any interesting light effect that adds an extra dimension but is not absolutely essential. Decorative pendants in finishes and materials of your choice are good examples of feature lighting. If you need useful lighting from your pendant, however, you may also need to check its lighting output. 
Miniature uplights to window reveals are wonderfully dainty details that can add a bit of drama to the kitchen. Thank you for listening to this instalment in our Dark Art of Light series. We hope you have found it both insightful and useful. If you are interested in other tutorials in this series, please go to our Nulti YouTube page or visit our website to find out more.